Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions in another 5 star silver character gameplay preview video. And today, we got the Miz. Awesome! Finally we get a new Miz. And uh, his little jacket's doing some flippy stuff there, so you gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. He has no special gear. Let's take a look inside the poster. He's a coach. Multiply gems do up to 15% more damage, so that's pretty nice. Um, I imagine this link right here is for Miz and Morrison, even though it's broken uh, on mine. <laughs> I don't know what's up with it. Uh, take 80% less damage from any color moves, so that'll help you reduce moves. And uh, the raw link for an extra MP in Modern Era for extra gem damage. If we look at the moves, the eye poke is the four star move, the figure four is the five star move. And that's good because we're going to start with the five star move. We're going to go Russian leg sweep, one charge purple deal, 3470 damage, and make four random black gems into yellow gems. Then we got the figure four leg lock, five charge yellow sub, place four sub gems and do 19,988 damage for four turns. And then we got a reversal, deal 295k uh, damage and gain. Uh, 591,000 health. So, I actually, on here, I have all submission coaches and trainers, really. Zombie AJ for three more yellow sub turns. Uh, Striker Austin for 50% more damage per turn. I got Drew for yellow subs, do 50% more per turn. If I had him at 9k, I'd get an extra turn as well. And then I got Booker T here for yellow gems, doing 5% more damage, and moves that generate yellow will create one more, so I can get five black into yellow out of that turn. So basically, we're just going to turn black gems into yellow gems every turn, try to get that sub going, and uh, in the event that we do get pinned, we will have... Un All right. Turn one, making black to yellow. That's what we want, turn one. Just a yellow match somewhere. Now, I realize that move ain't going to be worth nothing soon enough. That's why I don't put Dolph Ziggler on there. Some people are going to look at that and think you want to go with Showboat Dolph for making more yellow gems. But uh, it's not going to be likely that you're going to have more than, say, four or five black on the board after a turn or two. So... Maybe turn one, you could get a nice cascade after that. How much black are you going to have on the board? Now, if you're going against a user who chucks a lot of black gems out there, maybe you'd consider it against them situationally. But look at after all these turns here. Three black gems on the board. Three. So even without Booker, like, I'd still be changing four. So we're looking to do all of our damage with our sub, really. And if he manages to pin me somehow then we'll get that kick out reversal here but super spammy to this sub here and move damage uh is the thing you're gonna want to hit miz with but if he can sub his way out of it he's got some other tricks up his sleeve too Let's keep a tally on black gems on the board again. Look at that one black gem on the board. So like I say, don't don't worry about putting Showboat Ziggler on there. I know I'm going to see 100 comments that say they want to see Ziggler on there. But, trust, it won't be good. Oh, he puts me down here. Let's see what we can do now. Look at that. His health still didn't move. I think his kickout move is broken right now. It's not dealing any damage. That's why I started with this moveset, because when I was practicing, the, the reversal wasn't dealing any damage. We're going to keep a real close eye on his health meter now and see if that's the case. But Alright, two black gems on the board, so... For anybody who thinks that uh, you should possibly have Showboat Ziggler on here, you're flat wrong. You're flat out wrong, all right? Mm. 
jerk. And one black gem on the board. I haven't even had five to change, so... I'll take your red gems, though. Set me back up. Unbelievable. This guy. I'm not even changing that black gem yet. I'm not doing any damage with that move, so there's no reason to keep hitting it. I'll hit it this time. Now that I can get three of them bad boys. Alright, my reversal's ready. Look, he's at 709,000 damage here. Let's hope he, uh... Let's hope he gets a pin out of this turn. Hey, he's not gonna use his moves. Come on. One black gem on the board, mind you. I need him to hit me again, though. We want to see this this time. 689,770. Alright, let's see. 689,770 here. Look at that. Didn't do any damage, so his reversal is not working right now. Deal 242. Didn't do nothing. Probably should have went straight for the sub there. I knew it, too. Should have. But at least the... Okay, the reversal is giving me the health back, because my health went back up to full, so... I mean, it's not going to be a big issue for me right now, but uh, he's really going to need to get that fixed. And I could have did my kick out there, but it wasn't going to deal any damage, and my health is still pretty much full, so I didn't really see the point. All right, I forgot about it. All right, you caught me. Seven turn sub here. Now, what's nice is whether that's working or not, this spammy sub here is going to be super helpful. This is one of the lowest charge subs I've ever seen. And uh, it can do some gnarly damage, especially when you don't need trainers for any of your other stuff to be effective. And you can focus on all uh, sub training. It's pretty awesome. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Look at that. My health is still really, really good right now. So that move set works pretty well. It's a little long. I know that. It's a little long. So I've been informed to look a little closer at the health. So we're going to try this uh, other move set here and we'll see. But I don't think it's doing anything. Um, we have another one charge move here, the eye poke. And you can put this in instead of the sub. And this is a defensive set right here. Deal 34. It's a one charge purple. Deal 3470 damage. And decrease the damage of all your opponent's gems by 100% for two total turns. This includes both your turns and your opponent's turns. So... Um, what I was doing with this before was then loading yellow damage. And this looks a little funky here. It looks like it's showing the gain health here, but I'm pretty sure in the match it will go to the deal damage. Because it's a yellow move that deals damage. So 
it should work for that. Otherwise, what are you gonna do? You're gonna put you're gonna put Honky Tonk Man on there and decrease it more than a hundred percent. Or I mean, I suppose you could for the pin, because that first turn of the pinfall is gonna be nerfed at a hundred percent. Oh, that looks even worse. My lighting's bad in here today. All right, we're gonna watch the health even closer on this match. So you want to hit the eye poke every mat every turn. Now, that's just for two turns, so that's going to be your turn and your opponent's turn. So, it's really only one turn on the opponent. I don't know why they do it that way. Like, you could ever hit the turn out of your... Like, you could ever hit it out of your turn or something. I don't know. I don't know why it wouldn't just say, make your opponent for one turn, rather than make it all complicating. Okay, let's do this again. I'll do that. Let's get some yellow gem damage going. Oh, there with that is that why? Yeah, but this one's still going to be two total turns, including my turn, or what? So now we got 200% decrease for one turn, basically, if it stacks. That ain't all that. I think on paper, this is going to look a lot scarier to you guys than it... Like, I think it looks unbeatable, but I don't think it's going to be unbeatable. It's going to be great, yes, but I don't think it's going to be unbeatable. This is going to be very annoying to go against, though. Yeah, see, for one turn there. Uh, we still got him, though. We still got him there. Not really sure how I did 400,000 damage there. We have to go back and see that one again. All right, we're going to try that match again. Black into yellow there. And we ain't got much of much, so... Let's just try not to leave him a red match, basically. So maybe last turn, was it something like because I had the eye poke doubled? Was it something like when he swiped it went negative damage? Is that a possibility? I'd have to go back and rewatch the tape, but we'll all see. We'll all see. I just did this match again to see if it was fluky or not. And I really was only doing this to check and see if we could watch the damage come off of him. For the kick out, so I need to stop taking his uh, his gems, really. There you see, every normal turn there, he can't hurt you. Now, if you pin him though, after that one first swipe of the pin, he's gonna get his he's gonna get it back. So. Alright, let's let's check this turn. So he's got one seven eight one three eight three. One seven eight one three eight three. 
We're going to see. They say it will on the next action taken. Okay, let's kick out. Nothing. Let's take an action. Ah, I did. It went all the way down there. Okay, weird. There's just a stall on that reversal move there. So it did take, what, the 500? It took like 500k off there. So, so you put the double yellow move damage on there. You can get him up to 500k there. So that's pretty nice. I still don't know why on that last match that I ended up with that much uh, damage for him to kick out of. Really don't know there, but... See, that's nice. When you got somebody whose finisher is going to break a lot of gems like this, they're all going to be zero. Watch. Everything involved in this cascade will be zero. So all he got was the initial move damage there, the 84k. Oh, we got a wild on the board here. Let's see if we can set something up. I don't think so. I don't know if we can recreate what we had done in the last match or not. Nah, I needed to hit that move again. And I did not. So 30,000 here. It had to have been that. Uh, it had to have taken all that gem damage that he swiped on the kick out and uh, did it. But this is going to take forever, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and just quit this match. This is a defensive set. I don't think you would want to run this set for offense because, I mean, this is going to take a long time. I haven't really lost any health yet, and I'll be able to keep regaining it, but, I mean, this is, uh, it's going to be a little ridiculous. It's going to be a little ridiculous, so. I'm actually just going to quit there. We've seen what we needed to see with it. We, we toasted him the first time. We can go back and see how it is that I put that much damage on him, but. I don't need to play that match out for another 15 minutes. We'll just go ahead and heal him up and we'll get to the final move set. Alright, so we got some blue moves here. And a more big damage uh, finisher here. So this is going to be more offensively probably how you're going to want to run. So we got the Skull Crushing Finale. 18 charge yellow. That's a shitload. Deal. 213,000 damage. Gain 4 blue MP. Then we got the Flapjack. Uh, 7 charge blue. Deal 30,000 damage. And modify 3x4 random area into reinforce. Then we got the Big Boot. 8 charge blue. Deal 30,000 damage. And choose a 3x3 three three to swap into yellow. So we're going to want Lawler on here. And then uh, I'll stick with the yellow move damage for that finisher there. That's fine with me. Um, neither of these are... I mean, Booker's going to help with the yellow. That, I mean, there's nothing really else I need here. I mean, unless you want to put, like, Trickster Andre here or something just in case. I don't know. I'd have to do the math to see if that's even going to help or not. But doesn't matter. Let's just get out here and try it again. See what we can do. I'm sure there's going to be other combinations of things we could do as well. Like using that one charge to take the gem damage away. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. Recharged itself. That's what we like to see. So we need reinforced gems for this uh, other yellow, or for the move that makes yellow gems. That's so dumb. I hate it when that happens. Because for 18 charge, you're going to need to double pop. And so a 3x3 three three area here, that's 9 gems. And a double break there is going to give you 18. So 18 seems high, but it's definitely going to fill itself if you use those uh, together. The 
the one charge with the two blue moves and might not be a bad call either because that might be enough damage to hold him down. 270 here in game four, blue MP. I'll take it. Maybe should have took a blue swipe first so I could have guaranteed they were full. Seeing as how blue is on the board and now it's gone. There's one more blue on the board. All right, I can get it. Got nothing to do to hold him away from doing his moves now though, so. This is a slugfest move set here. Slugfest move set. Alright. Had a yellow. Good, good, good. There we go. There we go. We're out. Come on. Ah! Problem is here, you can't choose this, so the randomness of this move doesn't help you out at all. Ooh, put my wild card all the way on the left there. That'd be nice. Yeah, it did, and it gave me the blues, so after I hit the finisher, the blues will be ready. So as you can see here, works well. It doesn't hit tremendously hard. Now, yeah, uh, strap him up with a yellow tier 5 takedown uh, medal, and he will be doing some big time damage on that finisher, though, I'll tell you what. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. Ooh, are we even going to kick out here? I shouldn't have taken that first swipe without paying attention. I think I got that blue drop. Yeah. Woo! That was a close one. And skull crushing finale. 270. It'll kick right out again. Matches are just long. He's a showboat. It's uh, it's kind of what happens with showboats. gonna be able to kick out pretty soon Set's just not doing a ton of damage here need uh, you need the metals and also if we had any kind of protection if I had the 20% armor like he has right now against me that would be fantastic as well we have no protection against his hit And no extra damage for ours. No extra yellow gem damage for that. No nothing. We could check him. I'm sure he is meddled out to the gills here, too. I don't think I'm getting up this time. Got no yellow matches on the board. No cascades on the board. There's no way to kick out. That's why we need straps and medals, because that would have been over turns ago. That should have been over a few turns ago. But you see how it works there, and you know the potential of the moveset. So we could get it fixed up, but we're going to need straps and medals for that moveset to work at a high level, because there's just no way. That's not enough damage without it, and you don't have any protection without it either. So uh, what do you think about the Miz? He's going to be the defensive specialist stopper, the most annoying guy to face in the game. And uh, I ain't mad at it. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And until next time, y'all.